it's just the reality that they've chosen to love somebody who who's gonna die morning on the farm. Mary's doing her best and this and you want to say good morning to the people? Good morning. And we're just hanging out but it's a little bit of a rough morning so far. And now Peter and Emma are gonna put the feeding tube together. So, yeah. everybody gets a turn. She knows what she's doing though. Yes, this is true. Yeah. It's a little tricky, isn't it? If you, if you loop around. She's very excited to hook up the feeding tube, so. If you, just you know, that if, part if that's something you're into, go for it. There you go. Lunch has been chopped. And feeding tubes are filling. Oops. That's good. <laughs> that one's good. We'll just wipe off after. Because I have a J tube, I can't do like real food. Like, if you have a G tube, you could just blender the stuff we're eating for lunch and put it in there. But because I have a J-tube, it doesn't yeah. work. Why don't um, you, are, are you so right handed? Yes. I'm just. Yeah, why don't you do it with that hand? Eating what I can, and the rest will go through there. He matches the rugs here, just like he does almost every place. Emma and Ollie were having a nice snuggle earlier, weren't you? Yeah, they were. How's that carrot? Oh, good. Friends who fold together stay together. Yeah, baby. And we both grew up watching old movies like Calamity Jane, and so we're watching Calamity Jane. Watch them together. Shout out to Calamity Jane fans. Howard Keel fans everywhere. All right, guys, so the drone is still up in the top of that tree. So I am giving my hand at the slingshot. Yesterday I was shooting like there's an apple tree right here and some of the apples like fall to the ground and rot and, like rotten apples on the ground so I was launching apples at it and I was actually it was getting kind of dark when I was doing it and I was actually I mean I was getting them up there toward the drone so what I think is really interesting the, all the birds think the drone in the tree is very interesting I've seen a lot of birds uh, landing by it and I'm like could you just wish I could just train one to get one down for me get it down for me <laughs> but Oh, I just gotta get it down. I was hoping we had like a storm last night. I was hoping it would like knock it out of the tree, but I think it's pretty wedged up there. So, let's see how this goes. several shots go within like a foot of the drone so 
Theoretically, if I try this long enough, maybe I'll be able to hit it. Problem is, each apple is shaped a little different, so they fly different. Okay, I found that I can launch the apple over the tree with a slingshot. So, I attach fishing wire to the apple. I'm gonna try to get it to go right above the branch, and maybe I can connect the fishing wire or fishing line to that branch. It's a little bit of a stretch. We tried this with a tennis ball yesterday. Didn't really work, so hey, it's worth a try. Womp womp. Fishing line got disconnected. All right, back to trying to hit it. Hey, Elsie, you got any ideas to get the drone out of the tree? Guess she doesn't have any ideas. But the chickens, on the other hand, I wonder if I could train them to go up there. <coughs> Sometimes it's hard to know whether to like. <coughs> when you're on vacation, you have to figure out whether to how to listen to your body best. Whether it's... <coughs> push through not feeling great or take the time to rest. But I was just resting for quite a while. <coughs> I stood up and... <coughs> so anyway, there's no perfect answer when you're on vacation. Do what you think you can't do and Enjoy your time, whatever that looks like. Feeling good or feeling not so good, soak up the moments you have. One thing you can do is do everything you can to set your body up for success. Well, I'm back in the bedroom again. I don't wanna say CF1 this time, but I am resigned to the fact that I need to lay down. Oh man, kind of makes me feel like I'm gonna cry, but I'm just thankful that I was able to come. So if I have to spend my last evening here, crowded up in bed, then that's what I'm gonna do. Crowded up, what? Curled up, that's the word. Hmm. <laughs> Tonight. We just looked through the entire house for Peter and we just found him. On the swing, taking a nap. Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Yeah. I know. Hey guys. I slept. I woke up. Did you have a nice little sleep rest? Yeah, I fell asleep on the porch swing for. Put on some music. It was just like relaxing up there. I was probably asleep for like 20 minutes, but it was nice. I, I couldn't find you. Oh, sorry. And, uh, no, you're good. Did you figure out where I was? Yeah, I walked the entire house. I looked out the windows from the upstairs to look outside, and then I saw you on the little porch swing. <laughs> <coughs> One little update. I was talking to my dad, who has, who has worked in the Lexington area. He travels for work, and he comes to Lexington sometimes. And <coughs> he said, let me call somebody. I think I might know somebody who might have connections to help get the drone out of the tree. And he made a call. Anyway, we might have a connection. Yeah, the guy who does like tree trimming, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That so. would be awesome, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, you took a nap, you weren't feeling so good. Yeah, and I think, as, it was funny, when as I was laying here, kind of getting ready to fall asleep, and I was just thinking like, one, well, one, Amanda came back here to check on me and like was just checking on me and being sweet and seeing how I was doing and um, I think part of having CF that I don't talk about a lot but it is reality is that I think about ha the reality of me having a terminal illness is that someday I'm going to pass away and my friends and my family are going to deal with 
the death of a friend, the death of a family member, and in some ways I feel guilty about that. Like, I guess I was just like laying here thinking, you know, we came out here to hang out and have a good time and, um, and right now all I can do is like lay in bed and I wish I could just click my fingers and feel better so that I could go out and do something fun, whatever Amanda wanted to do, but my reality is that I have to just lay down, like that's all I could do. And she, she and my other friends and my family are gracious and they, uh, they do what whatever my body is allowing us to do. So if that means we get to go out and do something adventurous or just lay and take a nap, whatever it is, they're, you know, gracious to do that. And I think, you know, it's just the reality that they've chosen to love somebody who, um, I mean, who's gonna die I mean I know we all are I know we all are Peter could drop dead tomorrow I know that <laughs> but <clears throat> um I think just with a terminal illness you just kind of think about that a little bit it's in the front of your mind a little bit more it can be and so today I was just like thinking about that and then I was thinking about we show on our vlogs obviously we only show 10 minutes of our day or whatever but there are, there's a lot more that goes into the vlogger's day. And just because we have, you know, a YouTube channel and 135,000 of you guys or whatever, like, just because of that doesn't mean we're not human. And we are totally human. And when the camera's not off, sometimes we're crying because of the reality of death. Or sometimes we're frolicking in a field and it's the most magical thing and we can't film it and that's okay and like mm -hmm. it's just I think I just wanted to like remind you guys you know sometimes when we're interacting with you guys you're like oh my gosh you answered me or that sort of thing and that's really sweet but the reality is that I'm just human I'm not you know we're not some special we're you know yeah. we're just like you we yeah. are just like you we have really sweet magical moments in our days and we also have hard reality moments in our days and we sleep and eat and go to the bathroom just like everybody else like yeah we are human and I don't even know what you've seen so far of our day but just because I didn't feel great today doesn't mean I didn't have a good day mm -hmm. like just sitting on the couch and choosing to just soak up those moments whatever they are good or like good health or bad health aside like mm -hmm. yes technically I wanted to go out and see the llama today and maybe later tonight I can I don't know but for now I think it was just the reality of I have to slow down I have to lay down ultimately you know I'm just grateful that I have the breath and the lung function that I do have right now and we're using it yeah you know yeah like Peter and I had to decide are we gonna risk going on a trip being around people um, going on a like a long drive are we gonna risk that with my you know pretty stable lungs because that puts them at risk and what we decided was like yes that's how we want to use my my uh, stable lung function that's how yeah. we want to yeah use it so that's thoughts with Mary after she wakes up from a nap and we'll see what the rest of the night holds and we'll bring you guys along guess what do you want to tell them who called the guy from the tree climbing service called and sounds like he's going to be able to come tomorrow before we leave town. So that would be amazing. He'll climb up the tree and I don't know that he can climb like completely up to where the drone is. So I was talking to him and it sounds like he could 
climb up there with like a saw and a pole and kind of cut that branch where the drone is. Awesome. Even though it's a, you know, it's not ideal for the drone to be in the tree, it has been a fun adventure. It has been fun at times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just kind of a bummer, but it is kind of funny like the, all the things I've tried to try to get it out of the tree. And I knew this day would come. I, and part of the yeah, reason, exactly. part, part of the reason I fly the way I do is because I kind of have this like, you know what, I gotta take risks yeah. to really enjoy this drone. Exactly. And I knew that taking a risk means one day I'm gonna get it stuck in a tree. Yeah. I just, I always imagine that the day I get it stuck in a tree, it'd be easier to get out than, because like, this is pretty much <laughs> the highest tree around. I keep telling Peter, the shot you got during the tree incident was worth it. Oh yeah. I think it was worth the risk. <laughs> well, so. You do what you gotta do. Yeah, I was telling them, I was thinking about training the chickens to fly up there and get it. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, definitely vlog that. <laughs> Nice. Fresh turd pile. Yes. Good boy. You do good boy, Charlie boy. You like the llama? You like the llama? You like the llama? Yes. Gentle. Good job. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> what? It is late, so we're a little bit crazy, but it's our last night here. Don't talk about it. Yeah, don't talk about it, and it won't be true. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to get to bed, and as, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.